What? Uh, uh, missed it. Ah. Hey, welcome to Storyland. This week we're talking about commitment while we take a look at the story of a man who said something important. Like the most important thing ever. Hey, I'm Carter. And I'm Zeke. We're talking about commitment which is making a plan and putting it into practice. Speaking of practice, oof, I need to stay limber. Oof. Oof. Yeah. I'm getting tired just watching you. What exactly are you training for? Yeah. Well, it's an ancient sport I just discovered. You have to have super speedy reflexes, amazing hand-eye coordination, and top-notch motor skills. Ooh, that sounds intense. How do you play? You need a ball and these like pronged metal spiky things. Yikes, dangerous. Oh, it has its risks. Stand back. Behold. Jax? You're training to play Jax? I thought you said it was an ancient sport. It is, my parents used to play it. Anyways, it's harder than it looks. Watch. So the trick is to bounce the ball high enough to collect it or some of these, but not too high. Otherwise, it, it, hey, wh where'd it go? Uh, here, uh, can you help me look for it? Did it bounce over? I think it bounced uh, over here. All right, Lola, yeah, look that way. I'll look over here. Oh, no. Where's the ball? It's not over here either. Ah, I think it's gone. Sorry. Man, how am I supposed to train? Let's make a new one. Like make an actual bouncy ball. I'll coach you through it. All right, let's make it. Today, we're gonna make a bouncy ball. What color do oh. you want it to be, Zeke? Uh, blue. No, no, uh, red. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, purple, oh, okay. purple? How about a multicolored one? Oh, perfect, let's get the ingredients. Okay. Hold that, thank you. Uh, uh, okay, step back, thank you. All right, it's all here. We've got water, check. Uh, borax, check. Next is glue, check. After that, we have the cornstarch, check. And food coloring, check. Oh, and since we're using lots of colors, we'll need a container for each one. Okay, and then something to mix with. Ah, check. All right, ready to make this? Let's roll. Get it? Because it's a, it's a ball. Um, yeah. You know, this looks pretty complicated. It's probably gonna take way too long. I can just find it. Get your head in the game, athlete. We can handle this curveball. Come on, let's go. You're right, you're right, you're absolutely right. Let's okay. do this. First step, mix a teaspoon of borax with a quarter cup of water, one for each color. Go, hurry up, come on. Okay. Okay. Stir. Okay, check. Now, add a teaspoon of glue to each container. Uh, does it matter if it's clear or white? Nope, both work, but good question. Now, I like to be on my A game. Keep going, keep going, You're doing good. As I see the improvement, good job, Zeke. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 I bet the cornstarch is next. Ah, good call. Add a quarter teaspoon of cornstarch to each bowl of glue, then we add the food coloring and mix it really well. Game on. Come on. Very hesitant. There you go, there you go, there you go. Hey. <clears throat> now what? Food coloring. Oh, right. Food coloring. Food coloring, put the food coloring in. I, I, there we go, I, come I, on, food coloring, food coloring. Mix it. Mm -hmm. Mix it. Mm -hmm. Are you mixing? I'm mixing. Are you mixing with maximum mixing effort? Mixing is happening right now. Maximum effort mixing? As hard as I can. Okay. Okay. All right, you're done mixing. Okay. All right. All right. This next part will take a little time. You got it in you? Put me in, coach. Okay. Let's see what we got. All right. 
Pour each container one at a time into the borax and water mixture. Okay. Now, 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 mush, 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 mush. Three, two, done. Okay. All right. So that was the mix. That was the mush. Let's check. Ooh. Good job. Good job, man. But the game's not over. We're almost at the finish line, all right? Now smash all the colors okay, okay, together okay, okay. and form them into one ball, okay? Go, go, form, form, smash, form. Roll it, roll it, roll it. Make oh. that ball. Make the ball. Oh. We need the bouncy ball. Make the ball. Whoa. Yep. I'm Whoa. rolling. Whoa. Come on. I'm rolling. Come on. Yeah. Don't give up. Don't give up. I'm like three. Come on. Two. Yeah. One. Yeah. Ah. Done. Ah. There you go. There you go, Z. Uh. Good job. Huh. So, nice work, Z. You know, those last 15 seconds were a touch and go for a moment. Oh, yeah. um, but what was going through your head? You know, it was it was tough, uh, but we didn't give up. We we took a chance, and it paid off. It was totally worth it, and we made a bouncy ball. A bouncy ball. Wow, look at that. Well, you heard it here first, folks. Well said. Speaking of speaking, it's time for... The Story Before the Story. Today, we're in the book of Matthew. Matthew is one of the four Gospels that tells about the life of Jesus. For three years, Jesus traveled from town to town, sharing about God's kingdom and healing people. As they traveled, Jesus' closest followers saw him do amazing things, like walk on water. Jesus took two fish and five loaves of bread and turned them into food for more than 5,000 people. He healed the sick and even brought a young girl back to life. It was clear Jesus was special but everyone had a different idea about who Jesus really is. Which is where our story starts. Take it away. Hey everyone, I'm Erica. Just like us, Jesus needed space. One day he traveled north with his friends to the city of Caesarea Philippi, perhaps to be in a place where he wasn't known as well and there would be fewer crowds. The town itself was named after the Roman ruler Caesar Augustus, who was considered a god, like all the other Caesars. Many people in that area worshipped other false gods too. Jesus knew about this. He also knew all the questions people were asking about him. So Jesus went to the heart of the matter by asking his closest friends an incredibly important question. Who do people say the Son of Man is? Hold on a second. Son of Man? What's that all about? Jesus was actually referring to a vision the prophet Daniel had about the Messiah. Daniel used the name Son of Man to describe the rescuer God would send. Jesus wanted to hear whether his closest friends believed he was the rescuer or Messiah. Some people are saying that you're John the Baptist. Or maybe Elijah. I've heard people say that you could even be Jeremiah or one of the other prophets. But what about you? Who do you say I am? Sure, Jesus' friends had seen him do incredible things. They had to be thinking, this is it. What if Jesus is God's rescuer? But it was a big leap to go from just thinking it to saying it. Simon Peter was known for taking bold steps, and he was the first to answer. You are the Messiah. You are the son of the living God. Blessed are you, Simon. No mere human showed this to you. My Father in heaven showed it to you. Here's what I tell you. You are Peter. On this rock, I will build my church. Okay, this is some wordplay. See, the name Peter means rock. And to add to that, Caesarea Philippi was known for a large rock formation. So it's quite possible Jesus and his friends were looking at a giant solid rock. It was a word picture. In speaking up, Peter had shown how strong his faith was, and Jesus promised to build his entire future church on that faith. Now, Jesus knew not everyone was ready to hear that he is God's rescuer, so Jesus told his friends not to tell anyone that he is the Messiah. 
See, some people wanted Jesus to be a king to lead an uprising against the ruling Romans. That could have caused trouble with the Roman government. Jesus knew it wasn't time for that. For now, it was enough that Peter had been courageous to speak the truth about who Jesus is. The end. Peter was a pretty strong guy. Like a rock, clearly. Yep, Peter was all in. So what's our part in the story? <laughs> Jesus' friends had a lot of questions. They weren't sure what to think, but Jesus got the conversation started. He challenged them to speak up and talk about it. That's something we can practice too. You mean telling people who Jesus is? Absolutely. But it's more than just that. You can practice talking about God as part of everyday conversation. With your family. And your friends. That's right. Sometimes talking about what God is up to feels easy. And sometimes it seems a little harder. But choosing to talk about God reminds you to keep your eyes open for what God is doing. And get other people to see it too. You can share about the way God helped you to stay calm on a, a big test. Or when you see an incredible sunset, you can talk about God's amazing imagination. And if your friend gets upset, you can remind your friend that God is always with us, especially when we're lonely or sad. Show up for your friends and family and be willing to listen too. The more you're there for them, the more they'll be open to hearing from you about God. <laughs> Just takes a little practice. And commitment. You got it. This has been awesome. Thanks for having me and see you next time. <laughs> Bye. So here's the thing. Practice talking about God. Share what you've seen. And you can talk about it while you do what you love to do. Hey, I've got my jacks. And I got our brand new bouncy ball. Perfect. Hey, let's talk about God while we play jacks. Awesome. I see God in ocean waves. I see God when new leaves grow. Or when God helps me with a tricky math test. Or when I need help to make a wise choice. Ready to admit defeat? Never. I'm committed to this. Thanks for joining us in the Story Lab. See you next time. All right, you want to keep playing? Yeah, but Where's the, we need the ball. Oh. Uh. Did we lose that one too? <sighs> we might have to make another one. All right, coach. All right. You go get the stuff, I'll go get my whistle. Hey! Hey! Guess what happened to me today? Oh, what? So, I was eating a salad at lunch. Now, I know what you're saying. Who eats a salad for lunch? Leafy greens, right? <laughs> anyway, I was sitting there and I was eating lunch and I saw a friend who I hadn't seen in like years. And I was like, whoa, I haven't seen you since high school. And she was like, hey! And I was like, hi. Come on, Brandon, pull yourself together. To right this is the moment you've been waiting for. All you have to do is tell him there's something in his teeth. Just say it. And then you don't have to stare at that hideous, disgusting, partially chewed, mostly digested. I pulled out my phone like this, and I was, what? Has that been here the whole time? Yes. I thought you were just staring at my mouth no. because I had a nice smile no, or something. No, it wasn't. Oh, that. man. You know what? From now on, if I have something on my teeth or a booger coming out of my nose or something on my shirt or whatever, just point it out, okay? Okay, it, you're right. It's, it's something that I've been working on and I will, I will try to do better. I'm gonna start now. What, uh, you have something else to say? Yes. There's a squirrel on your back. Ah! Ah! Get it off! Yeah! Ah! 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 Ah!
<laughs> okay, okay, I'll go first. You went first last. No, but it worked, right? Well. Oh, hey, hey, everyone, I'm John. And I'm Brandon. And you're watching the International Pickup Sticks Competition. Yeah, actually, it's the so-and-so show, but we are training for the International Pickup Sticks Competition. Competition. You know, I've always wanted to compete ever since I was a kid. And I've wanted to compete since five minutes ago when Brandon told me about it. Yeah, we're competing in the doubles tournament, and I, I think we have a pretty good shot. Yeah, I think so, too, but only if we keep training. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what else we should be training in? Wearing deodorant? Yes. What? No. <laughs> okay, yes. But also, this month, we're committed to learning the skills you need to help your faith grow. And today, we're talking about, well, talking. <laughs> so, yeah. Come on, let's play, let's play, let's oh, play. Uh, can I please go first this time? <sighs> okay, fine. Okay, can you start the timer? Oh, yes. <laughs> All right, here, excuse me. <clears throat> Ready? Yeah, go. Hit it. Go! Before each game, I like to get loose. You gotta keep those limbs limber, you know what I'm saying? So I like to go into deep stretches because I don't want to pull a muscle in the middle of picking up a stick. It's happened before. You've only got 45 more seconds. You, you, you might want to pick up a stick. It's all part of the strategy. Okay. 30 <sighs> seconds. I know, I know. 15 seconds. <sighs> Yeah, here we go. Now this part is crucial. The selection of the stick. See, most people will just pick some random stick off the top, but with international pickup sticks competition rules, if you wanna earn the real big points, you have to choose one from the deeper layers of what I call the pile. No. Five seconds. No, you. Uh, oh, oh no, man, you distracted me. No, oh. to, pff, whatever. Uh, yeah. You know what? You should have gone for one of the ones on top. I first. have a strategy. Well, it isn't working. Okay, then why don't you show me what works? Uh, fine. Give me that. Yeah, here, you want to clear it. I, I know how to work the, Okay. This one? Yeah. No. Oh, one? oh yeah. Yeah, okay. Ready? Yeah. Go. Gotta stay hydrated. You didn't even drink it. Oh, you have 45 seconds. I don't know what Brandon was trying to do, but I'm not gonna mess this one up. You gotta be stealthy and swift to pick up these sticks. <laughs> oh. 44 seconds. Ah. Ah. It's all about the breath work, baby. Mental preparation. I envision the stick in my mind. I can see it, I can smell it, I can taste it. Mmm, I know exactly where it is and how to get it. <laughs> it's mine. Whoo! 43 seconds. Yeah! Yeah! What was that? That was supposed to work. No, that would have lost us the game and might have even gotten us expelled from the entire competition. At least I grabbed more than one stick. You're supposed to only grab one stick. Oh. Look, you and I are supposed to be a team, right? If one of us makes a mistake, it, it affects both of us. So instead of keeping our strategies to ourselves, maybe we should talk about them to each other? Okay. 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 As a member of this team, may I make a suggestion? Yes, you may. Okay. I believe you should stretch before time starts and spend less time on choosing the perfect stick. Just pick up the one, you know, go with your gut. Oh, that's good advice, thank you. I, I do tend to overthink, uh -huh. which adds to the pressure which makes me more nervous, which makes my hands get really shaky and sweaty, and that makes like it difficult. Like you're doing right to... now? Oh, right. May I also make a suggestion? Uh, um, you may. You can choose one of the sticks on the top, but you get more points for one near the bottom. Oh, okay. I like a challenge, and I like more points. I know you do. Thank you for the suggestion. Work as a team? Work as a team. Redrop? Redrop. Start the timer. Start the timer. Oh. Hold on. Okay. 
Go. No, 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 the stretching, the stretching. Oh, right, right, no stretching, okay, okay. Ah, don't rush. Okay, yeah, right, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. gotcha. Okay, let's look. Oh. Hmm? It's Bible story time! Hey guys! Ooh, pickup sticks. I love this game! Yeah, we're practicing for the International Pickup pick Sticks, sticks competition. competition! You know it! I was the solo competition champion for three years in a row! Impressive! Not as impressive as today's story. It's from the book of Matthew, and it's... Oh, looks like I'm getting some help today. Hello, I'm Don Slightly, and this is Ancient News Network, where we only cover ancient news. Tonight, culottes. Are they still cool? Were they ever? But first, Jesus. A carpenter's son from Nazareth. A praised teacher, some even call him rabbi. But is Jesus more than that? Joining us from Zesarea Philippi is one of his followers, <laughs> Philip. <laughs> Philip, thank you for joining us. <laughs> Guys, shh. Hello, person wearing colorful armor. Uh, it's a, a blazer and necktie. Philip, sources say you're a follower of Jesus. Is that accurate? Oh, yes. I've been following him for a while now. Up and down hills, to the sea, to the edge of the mountain, but not through the desert. He wanted to go alone. Well, I mean that you follow his teachings, not just physically. Oh, yes. Both. Mm -hmm. And what is your impression of him? Oh, oh uh, I guess. Here is what I tell you. Love your enemies. I don't know. I'm, I'm bad at impressions. No, my, my mistake. Uh, not that kind of impression. What is your opinion of Jesus? Who is he? Whoa. No way. We literally had this conversation with Jesus. Right? Yeah, totally. Jesus had all his disciples together, and he said, Who do people... Uh, you, you, don't, you don't have to do the impression. Right, right. Sorry. Jesus said... Who do people say the Son of Man is? Sometimes, Jesus called himself the Son of Man. Mm, and what was your response? What were people saying? John the Baptist! Elijah! Guys, stop! This is my interview! Some said John the Baptist! Elijah, some said. Jeremiah! Yeah, or one of the prophets. <laughs> Well, there you have it. Straight from one of Jesus' own followers. There's no need to add to that. Actually, uh... back to you. Thanks, Don. For sure, the disciples knew that Jesus was special. They'd heard him teach things no one else was teaching. They'd seen him perform miracles no one had ever done before. But still, talking about what they truly thought about Jesus could have gotten them in a lot of trouble back then. So the disciples may have... Oh, another story. Tonight on Ancient News Network, Chia Pets. Are they actual pets? An inside scoop from Mr. Whiskers. But first, this just in. Another follower of Jesus with more about the famed teacher. Joining me live is Simon Peter. Mr. Peter. Oh, actually, my first name is Peter. Oh, I thought it was Simon. Well, it's both, uh, but I go by Peter. It, it helps because there's another Simon in the group. <laughs> he is quite a zealot. What can you tell us about Jesus? Well, first, Jesus asked us what other people were saying about him. But then he wanted to know what we thought. He said, but what about you? Who do you say I am? And I told him what I really believe. I, I said, you are the Messiah. You are the son of the living God. Whoa. And he said, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah. No mere human showed this to you, 
My father in heaven showed it to you. That is remarkable. It gets better. Jesus said, here is what I tell you. You are Peter. On this rock, I will build my church. Mm, I see, because Peter is another word for rock. Well, it sounds like you've been given a big responsibility. I know, right? <laughs> well, there you have it. Simon Peter believes that Jesus is more than just a teacher and friend. He's the son of God. Up next, fidget spinners. How much time did we waste on these things? But for now, back to you. Thanks, Don. Peter had the courage to say out loud what he believed. Talking about God is a skill you and I can practice too. And when you talk out what you believe with others, it helps your faith in God to grow. So think of someone you can share your thoughts with today and give it a try. Back to you guys. Thanks. It's just like pickup sticks. Yep. Come again? Oh, no, when we talked about our strategies together and helped us play the game better. Oh, See? that's a good point. Mm -hmm. And it helped us to understand each other. Yeah, yeah, so when we talk about God together, it can help us understand what we believe better and help us grow in our faith. Yeah, that would be amazing. Yeah. Reveal the question. <laughs> Oh, who do you talk to about God? Well, there's you, obviously, and my parents. I talk to you as well, and, and some of my other friends that don't know Jesus as well as I do. Oh, you have other friends? Oh, yeah, but you're my best friend. Oh, thanks, buddy. <laughs> and I'm your best friend too, right? Yeah. Who do you talk to about God? Find someone to talk to right now. And we'll see you next time on The, the So-and-So so -and -so Show. Show. Yes, of course you're my best oh, friend. Oh, okay. I'm just goofing around. Again? Another round? All right, all right. Let Here me we stretch go. All before right. we start. Oh, good, good. Right, you've all learned. Right. All right. All right? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'm going to need your help getting up. Okay, here you okay. go. Here we go. Thanks. So we should put them on. I think so. It's right. It's on top. That's not yeah. a lot of points. Yeah, that's true, but but, but okay. I'm, this is a three, two, one. Oh! Okay, now what? You know how you pull a the thing tablecloth, out the tablecloth yeah. and everything stays? What if I just go... Oh, oh, if you hadn't have kicked the table I after know. you'd done it. How about if we use wind energy to blow one of them? <laughs> that didn't work. Oh, 60, 60 seconds? seconds on the clock. Okay. Yeah. Hold on, I gotta stop it. Okay. Uh, and then clear it. Use the, the top no, button. Now when, and now it's setting the clock. That sets the clock? Yep. Why does it have nope. a clock on it? It's a stopwatch. Well, I don't know. This isn't a stopwatch, it's a meat thermometer. Oh. Wow, that chicken I just say it was really undercooked.